Good evening, everyone. Hope everyone is well. I'm just waiting for you guys to come on. And if you hear the dog bark, I'm sorry. The neighbor has a dog right next to my window. So hope you guys are well. And we're going to talk about demons in the church in the end times. What does the Bible say? What are we dealing with right now? Hope you guys are good. And um, it is hot where I'm at. It's in the 80s. And uh, I'm, I'm sweating. I got the fan going on. And I'm not running outside right now. The dog is... He's gonna he's getting ready to bark, so if you hear the barking going on, it's that dog with the family that had COVID. I'm not touching the dog. So anyway, welcome to uh Facebook. This is also going to be posted on YouTube. My name is Yasmin Suri. Please share this video because the pastors are not warning and sounding the alarm that the Lord is coming and they are asleep. They're not warning us, they're not preparing us for the end times. They are sleeping and worried about how to keep their buildings. They're not warning us. They are concerned about fun activities in the church, the next program in the church, the next, you know, baptismal in the church, baby, ba I don't know, whatever it is. Baptism is good, it's important. Water baptism and the fire of the Holy Ghost is important, but the pastors are not warning the flock. We are getting ready for the sound of the trumpet. Jesus is coming and people are quiet. You hardly hear anything about this behind the pulpits. It is a shame because people are under demonic, a demonic spell. It's like they don't believe that Jesus is coming. They think that we're going back to normal. They think that after the pow, everything's going back to normal. They think that everything is gonna be as it was. Well, let's talk about it. The Bible says, 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy 4, 1. Now the Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, expressly says that in the latter times, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing, to deceiving spirits and doctrines of devils or <clears throat> seducing spirits. Excuse me. We're going to talk about demons in the church. Come on, you guys aren't afraid, are you? Are you afraid? Do you understand that Jesus defeated the devil at the cross? Do you understand that he took the keys of hell, death, and the grave? He took, he stripped, he took the keys from the devil. And if you're born again, God has given you authority over all the power of the enemy. Do you guys understand this? Right now, there are people behind the pulpit on social media, on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, all these sites that are puppets of the devil that come in Jesus' name. Okay? These people are sent by the enemy into the church realm, into your homes, behind your computers, on your phones to deceive you in the name of Jesus. Why do I say that? Jesus says it clearly. Many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and shall deceive many. Okay? Many means there's so many people that are going to come in his name and deceive the body of Christ. We are living in the end times. The end times means right before the rapture of the church. This is after Pentecost. It's been the end times. But the Bible clearly says when you see all these things coming to pass, look up for your redemption draws near. What things? Wars. Look at the Middle East. Rumors of wars. Russia. 
South, South or North Korea, Iran, China, Middle East, the enemies of Israel. Look at this stuff. Israel is the fig tree. It is blossomed, okay? And it's become a nation in 1948. This is the, these are the people of God's eye, but if they don't repent, listen, there's going to be during the, during the, during the tribulation, there's going to be so much bloodshed in Israel that the blood is going to come up to the bridle of the horses. Okay. This is so bad. What? are these demons these demons are these pastors or these so-called prophets that told you that so-and-so the 45th was going to be president again okay these are the prophets that have all these continual dreams and visions and revelations but they're not of god these are demons behind in the church behind the pulpits behind social media behind youtube behind all this stuff that's coming into your house and into your car and into your life. And you guys are still following them. Which is like, seriously? Prophets. Jesus said false Christ and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders if possible to even deceive the very elect of God. That means the elect of God are going to be deceived. It doesn't mean they, they might. It means they're going to be deceived, the elect of God. That means you got to be on guard so heavily that you got to make sure that you are reading. See this right there? The Bible. That you are so in the Bible right there. That's the Bible. You got to make sure that you are reading the Bible and you know the word of God. So you know how to test the word because these demons are assigned even by some of your pastors. They have come into the church. They're yoking up. Listen, these demons in the church are leading you to do yoga. These demons in the church are leading you and teaching you how to travel to the third heavens and back. These demons are using people to teach you the book of Enoch. The book of Jasher, like all these books that are not a part of the canon of scripture. They're behind the pulpits and you guys are still following the false teachers. Shocking. You guys are still following the false teachers, no matter how much you're being warned. You're still putting up with them. You know, Jesus went around and he did miracles. He, he cast out demons everywhere he went that was back then do you know how many people are demon possessed now do you know how many people are demon possessed in the church now you know all your alcoholics that's demonic man that's demonic you know your drug addicts that's demons alcoholics are there's demons involved demons are taking these people over you know these people that are they don't have a sound mind and they're a little cray cray that's demons schizophrenia that's demons a lot of your epileptic seizures demons i don't know if it's, it's in the bible it's in the bible but nobody wants to believe it you just want to medicate people that have these issues. Everybody wants to be medicated, but these are demons and nobody wants to talk about it. They don't want to talk about the devil. Nobody wants to talk about hell. Nobody wants to talk about demons. For the lack of knowledge, my people perish. My people are destroyed. They're in your, they're in your Bible study. Okay? Judas. Look at Judas. Judas traveled with Jesus. And do you know Satan entered into Judas? He was one of the disciples. Jesus knew it all along. The Bible says it would have been better for him not to have been born than to betray the Son of Man. 
and you guys are living your life completely blinded. You can't see that the trumpet is getting ready to sound. People are lost in the church. People are lost. A lot of people are not even going to church right now. They're lost in their homes. They're lost in the church. The, the church are people that confess to be believers. Okay, it's not a building. I don't care about the building. It's a group of people that are gathered together in Jesus' name. And those people, a lot of them are demonically possessed. Okay? That's why you got the wife that's married to the husband. The husband keeps beating her up and speaking in tongues. That's why you got the wife that's serving the Lord and her husband keeps looking at porn. That's de that's demons. That's why you got pastors and people in the church full of demons. They're demonically compelled. They can't stop. When you're looking at porn and you're dr getting drunk and you're in a group for AA, cast the wicked demon out. Most of y'all can't even cat clean your kitchen sink full of dishes. You can't even cast a demon out. You don't even know what to do. Jesus said, these signs shall follow those that believe in my name. They will cast out devils. They will speak with new tongues. They will lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover. They will eat, drink anything poison. Mm, it won't harm them. Mm. But most people, you guys are sitting around watching Fauci. Watching the news. What? Can't wait to get back to your sports arena. Can't, can't. Can't get to get can't wait to take your mm off and get the bam. Do you know that during the tribulation and even working up to it, the plagues are gonna be unbelievable that a third or a quarter of the population is gonna die of plagues. It's gonna be far worse than the sea. Let me spell it out for you. It's gonna be far worse. Then this, it's going to be beyond this. So much judgment coming and those demons in the church and the body of Christ that you guys are all listening to that, oh, let's name it and claim it. Let's just speak it forth. We're going to have a great future 2021, 2022 is God's year, year of vision, 2020 year of vision. Those devils spoke out the year of vision and look. All we had to vision was the four walls. But you guys are still following these false teachers that prophesied, proselyed the return of the president. It's your own fault. I'm telling you right now, this is your own fault. You are going into, you're already deceived. Listen, if you're following these false teachers and you don't hold them accountable, that, that these demons are using these people, you don't even hold these pastors accountable and make an excuses for them. If you are not 100% accurate, every time you are a false prophet, every time according to the Bible, but you guys don't want to read the Bible. You guys don't want to read the Bible. You don't care about the Bible. You, you bear up with false teachers in the church, but you don't bear up with me telling you the truth. Even Paul dealt with that. You will put up with false teachers, but you won't put up with him. Just like me. I'm telling you the truth. When you, listen, see this right here? It's going to be far worse before and during the tribulation. It's going to kill so many people. It's going to be weeping, wailing. You think you see weeping and wailing of people losing their loved ones now? Just wait. Just wait. It's going to be hell on earth. These demons behind the pulpit and the church that's telling you the rapture is not going to happen. Liars. They're liars. What, what, is, what does God want? I, I just heard somebody say, he's gonna, what is he going to do? Come for a battered wife? He's going 
He's going to let you get beaten up for seven years and come for a bam, 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 batter, battered wife at, at the second coming? Oh, really? Listen, Jesus is going to deliver us. Steve, Stefan says they only know in part and prophesied in part. Listen, dude, you're, you're, you're deceived. You, you're not rightly dividing the word of God. Okay. If you're going to come on my post, you better know the word of God. That doesn't mean partly false and partly true. They only know in part and prophesy in part. That doesn't mean half truth, half, half error. Half truth and half error is a lie. Half truth is a lie. But people like you don't read the word. You make an excuse for these false prophets out there. And I'm calling you out, Stephen Hinson. I'm calling you out because you always post stuff like that. But you don't know how to rightly divide the word of God. The Bible says you have to be 100% accurate. Okay? Even if a sign comes to pass and they make you fo follow other gods, that person is demonic. And this is, these demons are in the church. And it's your fault that you're following that spirit of Jezebel. That spirit of Jezebel in Revelation, in the book of Revelation, teaches the servants of God to commit fornication. Those that follow her are going into the same bed of judgment. You are the one that's going to fall for those signs and wonders on that gold dust and laughing like hyenas in the church through Bethel Church. And through these other movements that you guys just don't care about. You're like, oh, let's just follow them anyway because I love their music. You are the people that are already under judgment. You don't get it. You're already under God's judgment because you're following the false teachers like Bill Johnson, Bethel Church, IHOP, International House of Prayer, the Emergent Church, Ear Tickling Church, o Osteen Churches, it's Mr. Smiley, No Sin, No Hell. These are demons in the church. Demons use people to talk, okay? When Mr. Smiley says, I would, and his wife says, I would go to a gay wedding with Larry King Live. That is the doctrine of demons, okay? And you guys still follow them and you still pay them money. Doctrines of demons in the church that defy the living God. And you guys don't, it's like you guys don't even care. It doesn't even phase you. You're not even scared of God. That's the problem. The lack of the fear of the Lord. And you continue to follow false teachers. You continue to follow everybody that follows them. And then you have the audacity to jump on my page and to tell me a scripture and take it out of context. These false teachers are in my city. They're in your city. So many of you guys get an attitude when I call them out. Why? Do you hate me because I speak the truth? Of course you do because you did Paul too in the Bible. They hated Paul because he spoke the truth and it, it really just stirred their pot because you guys follow all these people. You guys don't care what the, the people of God say. You don't even care what the Bible says. I mean, you're not going to listen to me. You're so stiff-necked and hard-hearted. You're on your way to hell. Because when you start believing these false things, there's so much more other stuff you got going on in your life. These demons have deceived you thinking you can do yoga. Yep, this is a video that literally, literally calls you out. So many of you guys are sitting there doing yoga when you know it's Hinduism. And you're going to churches that prop, that promote this stuff. And you're like, I wonder what's wrong with me. I wonder why I'm depressed. I wonder why I can't have a relationship. I, I wonder why, why I, I, I'm down. I wonder, I wonder why I get attacked in my dreams. I wonder, I wonder this. I wonder, I wonder why, you know, I'm not eating right. I'm wondering why 
I'm hearing voices. I'm wondering why. I'm, what? What? Divination. When your pastor says it's okay to practice Halloween from the pulpit, he's being used by the devil. The demons are in the church. Listen to me. The demons are in our churches. They're coming through the phone. They're coming through the computers. They're coming through the television. And you guys are believing all this stuff. Like, you know what? God's okay with it. God is coming back for a bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. Not a bride that's practicing witchcraft. I call them Christian witches. Quitches. Quitches. That's what you guys are, quitches. Practicing horoscopes, reading your horoscopes. Going to Bethel so you can get prayed over that gold dust all over you. Mm. Going to a preacher that makes you laugh like a hyena. The holy, what, the bar, Holy Ghost bartenders. Come on. Come on. You guys, you guys are doing yoga? Goat yoga? What kind of, what? You going to see Harry Potter at Disney? Pulse and pick. What? 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 God is angry. But you don't see, you think God is love. God is love, but he's got anger too. I mean, don't forget. It's, it's. God's coming to pour wrath. He's coming to pour wrath. He ain't coming as a baby in a manger. He's coming to pour wrath on the world. For seven years. There's going to be so much death, destruction, while you guys are living lukewarm lives. The trumpet's getting ready to sound. There's going to be judgments, the bowls and the trumpets. All this stuff is going to be poured out. God's wrath on the sinner. On the sinner. And the trumpet is getting ready to sound. And you guys are sleeping around watching porn cussing. Cussing. Profanity out of your mouth. Can sweet and bitter water produce the same out of the same spring? No, you, your, your well is corrupt for out of your belly will flow rivers of living water, not corruption. We live in a wicked, wicked world. Great falling away from the faith right now. I mean, great. You see people turning away from God, coming up with doctrines of demons, coming up with their own belief systems to cater to their itchy ears, finding teachers that will teach them. And speak whatever they want. Zero conviction of the Holy Spirit. They want you to apologize for what they're doing. People want you to apologize for what they're doing. Because you stand up against it. Good is evil. Evil is good. And you got people in the church right now. Right. 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 Now. You got people right now. Living together. Defying a holy God. Sex outside of marriage. Defying a holy God. And they're telling you it's okay because we love each other. They're going to get left behind. They're on their way to hell. Guess what? If you're sleeping with somebody and you die, you're going to hell. Who's teaching you? Who's preaching another gospel? Who's telling you you're going to go to heaven? Who's saying to you, you're okay. Nobody's perfect. Everybody sins. Who's telling you these lies? Which, who is, who is the devil using to say, it's okay to drink? As long as you don't drink too much. I mean, you can get drunk sometimes. I mean, I know you got a problem with alcohol, but you know what? Just go ahead. Just go ahead. What devil is speaking to your, into your life? What devil is telling you? You can't be pure sexually. That'll kill you. But God says be pure. But don't listen to God. I mean, geez, he's just, he's a taskmaster. 
Which devil is telling you that? Which devil is telling you, hey, your gay son or daughter is still going to heaven? Which devil is telling you that I'm the devil for saying that to you? You see, which devil is telling you that same-sex people are going to heaven? Which, de which devil is telling you who... Which demon in your group coming in Jesus' name is telling you lies, lies from the pit of hell. And you guys are going to these same-sex weddings. You're, you're going to their homes. Oh, I love you. God loves you. We're good. Mm, you were born that way. Well, we can choose which gender we're going to be. I mean, even if you're a child, you can change your gender. Listen, I don't want to get deeper into this, but we got demons in the church. We got devils that are unrighteous, profane devils in Christianity. And those devils, you guys follow. And you guys don't care that you follow them. I'm concerned about you. This is why I'm talking the way I am. While I'm sweating, I'm talking to you. You are self-deceived by these deceptive devils. The Bible says even the very elect will be deceived. But because you follow these false teachers... And you follow all these pastors that said 45th is going to be reelected. None of it came to pass. You follow these dreamers. Oh, I had a dream last night and God said this. Oh, I had a dream last night and the rapture is going to happen tomorrow. And I had a dream last night that the rapture is going to happen next month. The Bible says no man knows the day or the hour that the Son of Man is going to come. The Bible says not even the Son or the angels, only the Father. And when the Father says, go get them. But you guys are listening to all these people that know, that claim to know when Jesus is coming. Really? Listen, we know the seasons and he's coming. He can come at any moment right now. There's going to be scoffers. There's more devils in the church that are scoffers. Oh, come on now. How long have you been saying the Lord is coming? They've been saying this since the forefathers fell asleep. Scoffers! Nobody believes in the rapture anymore. They don't believe the trumpet's going to sound. They believe that they can handle the Antichrist. They believe that even if they're left behind, they'll be able to handle it. You're going to be killed. You will chop, chop. You're going to be beheaded. Do not take the mark. If you're listening to this video and the rapture has happened, do not take the mark of the beast to buy or sell or do anything. You are damned forever. Your pastor's not telling you this. Most of your pastors are not telling you Jesus is coming. We are moments away from the trumpet getting ready to sound. Okay? The Bible says comfort one another with these words. Not comfort us that we're going through the tribulation. Comfort one another with these words. Nobody wants to talk about the rapture. Nobody wants to talk about the gifts of the Spirit. Nobody wants to talk about warning the, how Eastern mystical practices are coming into the church. Nobody wants to talk about the false teachers in the church because you think if they're eloquent speakers and they're popular and they got a big following that they must be of God. They must be of God. They got a big following. Guess what? People with the biggest following are the worst teachers. The people with the least following are the true teachers. Remember this, you guys. Jesus was hated because he told the truth. He was crucified. They chose Barabbas over Jesus. They chose a murderer over Jesus, okay? He was crucified for delivering people from demons, for healing them, for only doing good. He, he never did anything bad, and they wanted him dead. People hated Jesus. So many of his disciples turned back from him. 
He went about doing good and he was hated. He didn't have the whole world following him. In fact, the whole world lies in wickedness. And you think that what's happening in India and these other countries of this plague and the United States everywhere is going to be hell on earth during the tribulation. You're listening to lies. You don't know what's coming down the pipe. You think it's going to go back, bam, to normal after bam? You're the test bunny. I'm not condemning. I'm not for it, against it. I'm not. I ain't putting something in me that I don't know what it does, okay? You make your own choices. Doesn't make you a Christian or non-Christian. But I'm telling you, the devil wants to kill us. He wants to kill you and yours. But God is willing that none should perish and all should come to know him. He does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked. He doesn't. He does not rejoice. Last night, before I end right now, I was in intercession and the Spirit of God came on me. And the Lord just started speaking. He just took over my spirit and started speaking through my in the Spirit. And you know, He was so grieved for what's coming on this earth. What's coming on this earth is so is going to be so traumatic. What's coming in the, in the days ahead is going to be so traumatic that if you don't know Jesus, he was grieving. I was weeping because the souls of men, billions right now are in hell. And Isaiah, the Bible says that the gates of hell has enlarged its borders. It's millions of people in hell and millions more are going. Billions of people are going to hell. And the preachers and the devils behind the pulpits and in church are not telling you. They just want to hear good news. Well, the gospel is good news. And the gospel, that's what it means. The gospel is good news. The good news tell us, tells us that. The good news says that the hell is real and hell is opening itself large to take in more people. This is the Bible, the good news. And the good news tells us that there is a lake of fire prepared for the devil and his angels and those that practice sorcery and witchcraft. Listen, Harry Potter lovers, listen. Listen, listen. Yoga lovers, this is sorcery. It's just like murder. Oh, well, I don't murder anybody. But you practice sorcery. Mr. Mrs. Yoga. God will not allow for you to get away with this. Reading your horoscope for entertainment. Going into the Chinese restaurant. Reading the Chinese year of the dragon and all this stuff. That was sorcery. Opening up your, your whatever you call it. The fortune cookie. Fortune tellers are an abomination to God. But you don't want to hear it. Because you're innocent. Practicing Halloween, you're innocent. Harry Potter, you're innocent. Watching horror flicks, you, there's something wrong with you if you like horror flicks. There's something wrong with you if you like violence. There's something wrong with you if you are entertained by evil. But you don't want to hear it. You want to shut your ears. Don't tell me. Only tell me pleasant things. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. And, and you're going to get left behind. Because you're the five foolish virgins. You didn't have your lamps burning with oil. The oil is the Holy Spirit. You're not filled with the Holy Spirit. You don't care if you defy and you anger the living God. You don't care about God. You just sit there and get drunk. You don't love God. You are in total rebellion against him. Smoking pot. Smoking pot. You don't care about a holy, righteous God, but you rather do divination and sorcery. Oh, but you don't understand my pain. Oh, yeah. 
You're, you're a diviner. You want the witch's brew. And God is sitting on his throne room in the heaven of heavens. And he's looking down on the sons of men. He's looking down on us and he's seeing how you're pumping and bumping with your worldly music in the car, driving down with your windows rolled down. Pumping it up. The devil's music in the atmosphere. God is watching you. God is watching you have sex with that woman or that man behind closed doors in your house. What a defiant person you are. Don't even care what the Bible says. Yep, this is a rebuke video. I'm, I'm just, this is a talk. And you know what? Most of you guys, are, you don't want to hear it. You want me to love you and talk about heaven and how everything's going to be fine. It's not going to be fine. Not going to be fine. I'm trying to wake you up. Nothing is fine. When you sin against a holy, righteous God, you are in direct violation of his commandments. You have broken them. Okay? And you think you can be in church. I saw a pastor on Instagram skating, sexual moves, skating with his body. Got the, got the, got the music up with his glasses on, a bishop. And he's saying, give me the fancy car, boom, boom. Give me the fancy, the fancy couch, boom, boom. Give me the fancy house, boom, boom. I'm in. Bishop, a bishop. We are, it's done. It's done. You think God he that covers his sins shall not prosper. But if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Do you know alcoholism is, a, you are bound up by the devil. You can't be a Christian and an alcoholic. Jesus came to set the captives free. If you're not free, then you don't know Jesus. If you're a drug addict, you're a Christian drug addict? A Christian witch? A quitch? Something is wrong with you. Doing Ouija boards? Oh, but I'm a Christian. Take Pulling out your yoga mat and yoga things in the park? I see you. I see you. Doing yoga poses thinking you're cool? That's witchcraft. Witchcraft. Divination. Hinduism. Just go ahead. Keep on serving those other gods. But, oh, Yasmin, we don't serve those other gods. You are just too much, Yasmin. Wait till you meet Jesus. Ooh-wee. Wait till you meet God. You think I'm too much? Ooh. Wait till you meet God. It is a fear of God that y'all need. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. It is the fear of God that changed my life. The fear that I was on my way to hell. That's the fear. I heard a preacher say, oh, God doesn't fear us about hell. You want to make a bet? I don't. If I was a gambling woman, I'm not a gamble. Listen, it is the fear of God that changes us. The fear, fear of God's judgments, fear of going to hell. Listen, hell, people don't even believe in hell anymore. What demons are you believing in church? This is people in church. This is, these are people in church that don't believe that hell is real. They really, they don't believe hell is real. They believe it's for bad people. If you break one of the laws, you've broken all of them. If you've broken one, you've broken them all, Jesus said. I had one person tell me one time, I love God. I was living with a woman and I would teach her daughter. I'd bring out the Bible and teach her the ways of God. I said, you are out of your mind. You are out, out of your mind. It is defying a holy God. That is the worst example you can give to a child is to live with their, with their mother or father and not be married. Foolishness. 
deception. You're going into the tribulation. You're going to listen. You're, the tribulation is judgment poured out on the earth. The tribulation is not for the church. It's for Israel. Okay? We're the church, the true church is out of here. We're getting raptured. We are out. The restraining power is getting us out. And most people are going to be left behind. I'm done. Have fun with your sin. Because you know what? One day you're going to be tormented. I mean, how insane, how asinine is it? That you're tormented here on earth and you're going to be tormented for eternity. How asinine is this to even, to even think that you, that your life here is going to be far worse over there. Your sins will find you out. No playing around here. The trumpet is going to get ready to sound under the sound of my voice. You'll never forget what I said. You can hate me as much as you want, but you're going to get left behind when that trumpet sounds. He's coming for his church, a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. Not a church that says, God knows my heart while I'm getting drunk or getting high or sleeping around or looking at porn or lying or cussing. Cussing Christians, nasty old Christians. Do you understand the fruit is the evidence that you are saved? Love, joy, peace, gentleness, kindness, goodness, self-control. That means you're saved. That means it's an evidence. It's not something you just conjure up or that you pray for. It is the fruit of a tr something that's already there. It's kind of like a tree that's planted and you water it and, 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 and it grows and it produces fruit. This is the evidence that the tree is a good tree. Okay? Bad fruit or good fruit? Come on, you guys. I'm done. I will talk to you. I will talk. Hey, look at all those eyes, girl. Listen, I got some regular blue eyes contacts. These aren't bad. These I got for my birthday yesterday. And thank you again for all of you guys that supported my ministry yesterday. I just want to say I love you. And I'm going to get myself a Gro GoPro Hero Hero 9. You guys paid for it for me. I love you. Mm. I'm still waiting on the drone, but I love you. You guys took care of it. We're going to have some good hell scaring videos I'm going to be doing on my YouTube channel. I'm going to scare the devil out of you church people. I'm going to scare the devil out of you church people that think you're going to heaven because you've been lied to by the demons behind the pulpit for so long that you just think everything's okay. And guess what? It's not. It's not. It's not. You are on your way to hell. You can't live in sin and be a Christian. It's not going to, it doesn't work that way. God's coming for a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. He's coming for a holy and pure bride. And that's it. I'm done. God bless you. I love you. That's why I say this. Really. I don't. <laughs> I'm at home. I don't need to put my makeup on and do my hair to come on. Really. I, I, I could be watching a movie right now. I could be relaxing. I could be enjoying the almost done sunset. But I got to come on here. I got to come on here. And tell you people, you got to repent and be holy and stop following these demons in these churches and behind your phones and, and social media and Facebook and YouTube and uh, Instagram and Twitter and Telegram. These people are lying like a rug. They're not telling you the truth. Those pr J princes out there and, and the Mr. Smiley Osteen all oh, come on now mm -mm, they're not preaching the whole counsel of God they ain't telling you that the soul that sinneth shall die they're not telling you this that these false prophets are all over the place that prophets proselyte Trump winning and you guys are still watching them I'm done I'm done
God bless.